Hi there everyone, this is Bob Martin with the Nautilus Dry Docks, and as you can tell, this setting is a little bit different than what you're used to if you've been watching my videos. I'm currently in Cleveland, Ohio, uh, in my hotel room, and you can see behind me uh, a model submarine that I've built uh, for NASA at the Compass Research Institute here in Cleveland, Ohio. In a few hours, I'm going to be dropping it off. We're going to be throwing it in a pool here because the Discovery Channel is going to be filming it for an upcoming documentary on a mission that NASA is proposing to send a submarine to the moon of Titan to explore the methane seas there. So I want to give you a little bit of an overview of this submarine and show you what we've got cooking. So this is the uh, submarine, uh, or I guess it would be more of an autonomous vehicle as it would be, but this is fully remote control. Uh, a replica of what the actual submarine is going to look like, but in a much smaller scale. The, the full-sized one is going to be closer to two meters in diameter, so really the size of a small car, really. Um, we've got an arm here that actuates, and it has a, a sensor suite that attaches on the end for broadcasting uh, back to its satellite. We've got a six-channel remote control system. Um, I'm just going to break into it here so you can see it's, it's a single screw stainless bolt uh, on the top of the boat and that's what holds the top down. We'll pull this off so you can take a look at the uh, inside. And this is the, uh, the guts of the unit. It's got a pump style uh, ballast system that utilizes this rubber bladder for ballast. Uh, I'll unclip it here from its holder so you can see the rest of it. Propulsion is via two pumps uh, here. These are bilge pumps that ejected out the back and they give really good performance actually. Um, other than the static um, stability of the model, there's no pitch control. It's a little problematic when it gets going fast, but this was a quick build. This was uh, two weeks beginning to end. This is a scratch built watertight cylinder. Uh, you got your main air pump inside, a solenoid valve for venting, twin electronic speed controllers. Um, we got waterproof connections on the outside there, but really this is it. It's a, it's a simple little unit, but it's nice and stable and it's, it's a real delight to operate in the water. Hopefully we'll get some footage a little bit later on today at the pool. I just wanted to show this to you before we actually got there in case I didn't have a chance to take a look at this again because I am dropping it off for these guys uh, to hold on to. So thanks for joining me. I uh, hope you thought this was an interesting project. I certainly did. I really enjoyed it. Thanks for joining me. We'll catch you next time.